This is Courtney. She doesn't know it yet, but she is single-handedly going to be the reason this eBay business takes off in 2023. Over the last two weeks, she's endured what can only be described as a grueling training program. I've taught her everything there is to know about this eBay game, and I mean everything. You could say she's now my secret weapon for success, and you're going to start to see a lot more of her. She'll be working three days a week with me here at home. I'm very excited to be able to share this information with you all, guys. Uh, two weeks in, she's already doing very, very well, and uh, we've got some massive plans in place for 2023, which is what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about me telling you what our plans are for the next 12 months. And um, look, the accountant in me was a little bit nervous uh, bringing Courtney on, but um, the entrepreneur in me uh, was obviously pretty optimistic and excited about what can actually come of bringing a second person into the game. I've sat on it for about six months, and I finally pulled the trigger when Courtney said herself, that she was interested in jumping on board and being a part of it. So I couldn't say no, uh, very much welcomed her into the game and um, yeah, she's done really well so far. So first thing that I wanted to have a look at with you is our projection for the rest of this financial year, what we're trying to do from an eBay sales front um, to ultimately afford having Courtney on board and continue to grow this game as well. All right, so these numbers here that I'm about to show you are sort of the numbers that made me realize that Courtney was definitely going to be a good investment. If you have a look at what we're projecting for year three worth of revenue there, there's only a 6% growth and we actually doubled our revenue from years one to two. So there's definitely been a real slowdown in growth on eBay as a result of me just doing this now for two and a half years. I can see that I'm pretty much capped at my ability and my level of input on an eBay front. So to bring in a second person, and give Courtney the responsibilities of listing and shipping on eBay, we can actually up our volume. So we're gonna be going from 10 listings a day that I've been doing to 20 listings a day. I'm still gonna be doing a lot of the eBay side of things, but Courtney's only gonna be adding more on top of that. Uh, so 20 listings a day, we should be able to get a real significant increase in revenue, uh, which we've got some numbers for here. The projections are actually to try and do another $75,000 uh, between now and the end of the financial year. We wanna end up at the end of the year on $135,000 worth of revenue, which is an increase off the projection uh, before Courtney started of $112,000. So what that means is we need to find $22,000 more than what we're projected for. And the way we're gonna do that is by breaking it down into per monthly basis. So January, we're gonna be targeting, which we are currently this month, $10,000. I'll give you a look at how that's looking so far in just a moment. Uh, February, we're gonna go for 11,000 and we're gonna basically build by $1,000 every single month uh, until June, where hopefully we're gonna be doing about $15,000 a month in revenue. So in a nutshell, what we're doing is right now, I've been operating on about $310 in revenue per day. And with Courtney coming on board, the aim is to try and get up to $432. That's the golden number. 432 bucks a day. So it's only an extra 120 bucks. And with her on board doing double the amount of listings, I think that's a pretty feasible number that I think we can hit it, which is really, really exciting and it will make it all worthwhile. So on the other side of that, I'm gonna be putting a whole heap of time into my YouTube business as well, because that's a second business that I'm trying to build. Uh, so I'm gonna make a lot of content on YouTube, a lot more videos coming your way, while Courtney's gonna be going ahead and smashing the listings and getting the shipping done. So. It's a great blueprint. We've just got to go and put a lot of work into it. And uh, I'll give you a look now at how the January start has gone for that first 10,000 goal. So I've set up a little whiteboard in the garage and Courtney comes in each time she starts her shift and she sees exactly where we're at and what we're trying to aim for and she can sit down and start smashing it out. But from a goal of $10,000, that's $323 a day. I always like to break it down into a per day number. It always just makes it a little bit more feasible and achievable. Uh, the monthly totals uh, so far is $279. So we're operating at about 13% less than where we need to be currently but I'll give you some reasons as to why I'm not too concerned about that in just a moment. Uh, you'll see that the uh, the last week, just the last seven days, we actually had a 25% increase in sales, uh, $2,295 at $327. So this week uh, that we've just gone past uh, has been pretty much where we need to be for the month of January. Uh, it was just the first couple of weeks that, uh, that we kind of lapsed on the numbers that we needed. Uh, the projected monthly sales for this month so far at the moment is $8,650. So we need to do $429 every day for the last nine days of the month to be able to achieve that first mark of $10,000 in January. Now, the reason why I'm not too concerned about that, I took a couple of days off over Christmas. I took about 10 days off on that back end of December 
Uh, that really hurt the algorithm quite a bit. It was the first time I'd ever taken 10 days off eBay completely. No scheduled listings, no shipping, nothing. So that's obviously gonna hurt you. It's gonna be a slower start for January. Uh, and that's why the first couple of weeks in January weren't that crazy. Um, I actually only started when Courtney started on January 9 uh, to do the 20 listings a day. So there was no 20 listings throughout the first week of January. They've only started on Jan 9. So as you can see, our numbers have been increasing by 25% growth to $2,300. Uh, based on the fact that we've now got two weeks into the system at 20 listings a day. So hopefully all of those numbers make sense. They certainly do for me, and that's probably all that matters. Um, but we're on the right track is what I'm trying to say, and I'm very excited for the back end of January, and then we jump into February and try and hit that 11 grand. If we keep to 20 listings a day, I think we'll get there easily. All right, so that's the plan of attack. But the plan of attack for today, being a Monday morning, is to do the post. I've got Courtney with me here today, thankfully, and she's gonna help smash the post with me. I'll take you through the 31 sales uh, that have come through. And then also we're gonna go out and do some thrifting after that as well. And I'm gonna show you some items that we're picking up to be able to make our 20 listings every single day work. So uh, let's get into it. It's gonna be a big one. The first category is gonna be the shoes. Finally nice to see some shoes coming through. Uh, we've had five sales over the weekend. These were the cheapest of the bunch. I've ultimately just been running a 15% off sale uh, on all of my shoes, all my clothes, and all of the hats as well. Uh, and all of those categories have had some good sales come through. So these ones here are a pretty cheap pair of shoes. They're the Gel Venture 5s. Uh, we ended up getting a $27.95 sale price. They, they're a size 14, uh, so they're gonna have to go into a medium satchel. It's probably not gonna make us a lot of profit, but at the end of the day, just to get it out the door is a good thing. Uh, these two shoes here, uh, you probably remember this from last week's video. These were the Adidas Tubulars. I picked these up for $3 and I complained that there wasn't a lot of sell-through rate on them and they were probably going to be a pretty bad buy. Well, we ended up getting $40 for them. Um, so coming off a $3 spend, again, being the size of the shoe, it's probably going to go into a medium satchel. Uh, I was actually really surprised to see the sell-through rate of that being, what, a week? Uh, so that was awesome. This one here as well, $39.99, Brooks Glycerin. Uh, these are the 17s, good pair of running shoes. Condition of them is not too bad. Uh, we've got a $40 sale price on that one there as well. Um, these ones were actually mum's. Mum gave me these Ugg boots and they were authenticated as well. There's a little authentication slip in here too. Uh, there it is there. So that one was $48.95 in the end. Um, might have to give mum a few dollars for that because she did donate that item for me. But I think the Ugg boots, you could probably get a few more dollars if you sort of stuck out for it. But it took me about six months to get that return. So I was actually pretty surprised. We only got $48.95. But these were the best. We've got the LeBron 17s. Uh, I picked these up when I was over in the USA last year. Uh, I think I paid about $30 for them and we got an $85 sale price. Uh, again, 15% off with the promotion that I was running. Had them priced for $100. Uh, we've got an $85 sale price in the end, so I'm happy to take that. So, look, five pairs of shoes. Hopefully, we can get a few more come through this week. Video games. Uh, video games were pretty quiet this weekend. Um, I guess mainly for the fact that we weren't really listing a lot up. So, I'm not anticipating a, a heap of sales come through. But um, this one here, Red Dead Redemption. I've sold this a number of times. Uh, we ended up getting a, an $18 sale price on that one there. Would have only paid a few dollars for it. Uh, Wolfenstein as well, this one here sold for $19, uh, so that was good to see come through. PlayStation 2 is the most popular video game uh, console uh, that sells for me, and also a PS1 game here as well. We've got Gran Turismo, uh, we've got $22.50 for that one. Now the PS1 games, I always put into a cardboard box when we ship them out, just to protect the case. But these ones here, we'll put into a medium tracked envelope, and they'll just cost $4.50 to send off. A little bit more for this one, costs about $7.70, but three video game sales, not a bad start. Okay, the DVDs, this is the majority of the sales. As you can see here, we've laid them all out. There's a bit of a split with these DVDs. All of these here are basically uh, non-video store buyout DVDs. So if you guys may have remembered, about a week or two ago, I went to Blockbuster, and uh, or a former Blockbuster, and I bought out a heap of DVDs. I've made a video about it. I'll link it into the description below. Make sure you go and check it out. But these sales here, have already gone on to sell from just over the weekend period alone. And there's some really good value in these sales. But I wanted to take you through just this little screen here. We've got some pretty good numbers. So much so that with only eight days left before he completely closes his store down, I think based on these numbers, I might have to go back and buy a few more because they're just selling so well for me. So I first went into the Blockbuster store 14 days ago and all up I've spent $1,176. The total resale value is $5,250. It's 131 listings that I've got. 
In just 14 days, we've been able to sell $1,524, which I think is pretty crazy given a really short turnaround. An average sale price of $58, we've had 26 sales come through in those last two weeks. Now, these seven were from those 26 that I speak of, and there were some really good numbers in this. The first one that I've got for you is Initial D. That one there has gone on to sell for $14.50. Uh, Better Call Sol, we had that one come through for $35 for a season set of three. Everything that I bought in that video store are basically TV shows. They just sell the best for me. Um, Preacher, we've got this one come through for $55. So that was an awesome sale. Um, Danchi as well, this one here, we've got four seasons. That one sold for 40 bucks. Uh, we've got Hell on Wheels. I hadn't heard of this show before, but there were six seasons all up. And Hell on Wheels, we're able to get a price of $55 for that one there. So that sold really quick. Um, Fringe, this one sold for $49, a really popular show if you can be finding that one, uh, so $55 there. But the best of the bunch was this one, Zoe 101. If you can be finding this one, an old Nintendo, or not Nintendo, Nickelodeon classic, uh, it goes for $99. It sold for $20 international postage and $70 worth of the sale price. So all of that and all of these numbers tells me that I should probably go back and buy more of these DVDs because they're just selling so well. Uh, there was just one other thing with these DVDs that I wanted to mention to you as well, is we got a lot of questions in the last video around the condition, just being ex-rental, and even just being ex-rental on the fact that they probably won't sell as well. Well, all of these DVDs have sold for their full asking price, and it was the exact same comps as all the previously non-ex-rental sales that were on eBay. Um, even though they've got their markings there, Blockbuster, Runaway Bay, uh, that still hasn't stopped the sales coming through, and the discs themselves being ex-rental, have actually come up to be in very, very good condition. So don't be afraid, that's what I'm basically trying to say here, don't be afraid to buy these ex-rentals when you see them out in uh, thrift stores because they definitely still go on to sell for the full asking price. All right, our next category is the hats. And as I alluded to at the start of the video, uh, we're doing that 15% off special on the shoes, the hats, and the clothing. So six uh, hats coming through is, I think, a really good result. I don't remember a weekend where I've had six hat sales come in. Um, there haven't been any sort of crazy pricing on any of these, but just to see them turning over is good. This one's one of my favorites, so I'm actually quite sad to see this one go. We've got the Phoenix Suns hat, real vintage look about it. Uh, we've got a $30 sale price in the end for that one there. I actually have an interesting story around these hats here. So these are some rugby league kind of heritage style hats. Um, I haven't been able to put them in a video because I only filmed them just a couple of days ago in a local op shop. I bought eight of them, um, all different teams. I've got the Heritage Anzac badge there on the side as well. Really cool hats and they're brand new with tags. I just thought because I was buying them for $2 each, I paid $16 for eight hats. I just thought that I'd go ahead and list them up for 25 bucks. And um, both of them have come through. I think one went for $22.50 with a 10% off uh, coupon activation, but ultimately $22.50 a piece. Um, these were some really good quick turnarounds and I think the remaining six will go pretty fast as well. So. Keep an eye out for the old school heritage hats. They were really good. And then these ones here, there's nothing too much to write home about. We've got a Furphy beer hat there. We've got a tailor-made golf hat there. And we've got a Kathmandu five panel sort of a hiking hat on that one there as well. They all sold between 20 to $25. All of these hats are gonna go into a cardboard box. Uh, we always just wanna try and protect the brim when we're doing the hats. It's gonna cost the same price as a small satchel when we send them off domestically. None of these have sold internationally, so I think they're all a pretty good result. I'm doing a couple of comic books as well. I'm just kind of listing these up when I'm low on inventory to list. It's not something that I focus on at all, really. Um, but we've got three uh, comic books here for Digimon, and uh, I didn't really know what to do with a listing price on these because there weren't any comps uh, around it. I just went $10 each, and I just sort of shot for the stars, and we ended up getting the full asking price, $29.99 for a bundle of three. So. I was blown away to see that because today being Monday morning, I actually listed these up on Saturday. So maybe Digimon comic books are something you guys should be looking for. And some clothing as well, just the one that came through. Pretty quick sell through rate on this. Uh, didn't get it too long ago and we've already had it come through. I think we've got like a 20 to $25 sale price on this one. This is a Billabong tee, uh, but it's collaboration with Skeggs, uh, the band as well. So. I just like the print on it. I thought it was pretty sweet. Even though I'm not really doing my clothing anymore, I've only got a few tubs left. Uh, so I've got this tub here, and then I've pretty much just got this set of four for clothing, and I'm actually trying to still continue to get rid of it. I don't care how cheap it goes for. I just want to free these tubs up so I can buy more DVDs and swap this over for DVD storage. So slowly working away. If you guys do want any more clothing uh, in sort of wholesale allocations, just hit me up on Instagram 
and I can give these uh, clothing items to the left uh, to you at basically op shop price points. Thanks, Eves. Have a good one. Bye. See you later. Yeah. Post done. <laughs> How good? Done. Let's go and do some thrifting. Yeah. These are like new. <laughs> the Ultima 8. Oh, how is that like that? That's. That's a huge win. Would you be with it? Yeah, definitely. So type in Wave Ultima 8. So that's the Ultima 11. And that was $80 for the 11. So I think we could probably get yeah, maybe 50. You can list these up as like new. That's a great find. All right, the third and final stop. We're at Vinny's. We need something. We need something good here. Wish us luck. Oh. It's all right. $25. Two dollars each, four for five. That's a good one. This one? No, this one. <laughs> this one. We? Yeah. Wii Sports plus Wii Sports Resort. That's the one. There it is there. Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. There was a $50 sale. Grounded for life. Now this could be good. Grounded for life, the complete series. Please be good. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> that was your fun. <laughs> Damn, that was my fun. That'll be good. Rules of engagement, the seventh season. Be Two good. bucks. Yeah. Oh, this will be good too. You missed this. I saw that one. According to Jim. Oh, yes. Holy jeez. How good's that? Is there any more? According to Jim. Oh, look. Dang, now we've got three. There's got to be more in here. Shut up. No. What a find. Season two. We need season two. Come on, surely. Oh truth. my god. Oh my god. We found all five. <laughs> How good's this job? <laughs> So we've got all five seasons. Yeah. And are they region four or are they region one? Region one. What's that one there? One. So they're all region one. I was beginning to in there. That was. That was good. Seven listings. We went to two stores and we found two items. And then we went to that third store and we found seven listings. So we've got nine for the day. It's half a day's worth of listings with our new plan of attack to do 20 a day. And I picked up the last ham wrap in store. Courtney doesn't rate them though. She's just like, a ham and salad. She's like, it's just a ham salad wrap, but it's, it's something, look at, have a look at it. Look what's in it. Everything. I'll just keep buying them. Like a chunk of cheese. Yeah, massive chunk of cheese right in the middle. I think these are the best things you can buy on the coast. All right, so this this is actually pretty crazy. I've had a bit more of a look into According to Jim, seasons one to five, and we were looking at some international comps while we were in store, but I've had a look at the domestic ones around Australia, and this show, in a region one, which is what this is, the exact same DVDs, four seasons worth have sold for a best offer at $400, and there were two sales in there as well. Apparently, 
This is a really rare TV show to have. And not only that, but we've also got the extra fifth season. So if four seasons are selling for 400 bucks, maybe I'll list these up for $500 and see how we go. I was absolutely blown away to come home and see that. And I'm gonna be listing this up straight away for some big, big money. And as always, if it goes on to sell, I'll be sure to let you know. So appreciate you tuning in, guys. I'm gonna go and list these up as well as everything else we've got today. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed having Courtney a part of her first ever episode. Shoot her a bit of love in the comments below and let her know that you're excited to see her. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll see you soon. This is real life. Yeah. Um. You haven't had one of these yet, though. It's lettuce and carrot tomato. Does that not look good? I mean, yeah. It's amazing. It tastes even better. How much is that? Seven ninety-five. I'd pay twenty.